वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चानूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु ओ एडोरेशन स्पिरोड कृष्ण द प्रिसेप्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ द फोर हुड ऑफ डार्क मीन्स एंड बिस्टोर ऑफ इमोर एंड ओ क्षेत्र क्षेत्र विभाग योग गीता चैप्टर थर्टीन योग ऑफ डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन द फील्ड एंड द नोअर ऑफ द फील्ड सिंप्लीफाइड अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इज ए प्रोफाउंड इन साइट इन टू प्रैक्टिस ऑफ विवेका विवेका इज differentiation between the self and the not self and every individual is a blend of prakriti and purusha purusha is the is the self prakriti is the not self not is self <laughs> prakriti is the power of cosmic illusion brahman and prakriti is the same relation as a magician and his magical power both are one and the same but the magical power creates illusions and so as you advance on your sadhana your vivek must shine brighter and brighter you must have more and more awareness of your identity as the self not being tra- trapped in the world of a not self put it in a more simple way the self is the shining sun and when you think of a reflected self a reflected sun and look into the pot pot is a mixture of sun and and reflected sun again it's allegorical because they are not too different and your goal is to discover who am i you are not the reflected sun reflecting in the mental waters you are the sun and that's that knowledge is gyanam gyeyam gyanagamyam that knowledge is gyana real wisdom and that's the project of your life to attain that gyana and when you are you are begin to attain it you begin to discover who am i keeping that in view 17th verse jyotisham api tad jyoti tamasah param uchyate gyanam gyeyam gyanagamyam hridhi sarvasya vishtitam he is a light of light jyotisham api tad jyoti beyond the darkness of ignorance he is not knowledge he is that which is to be known and he is that who is the goal of knowledge he abides in the heart of all this is a very profound statement of the gita one of the best of verses ज्योति शाम अभी तक ज्योति तमसा परम उच्यते ज्ञानम ज्ञेयम ज्ञान गम्यम हृदय सर्वस्य विष्टितम एंड इट शुड बी आइडियली रिसाइटेड ईच टाइम यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग योर वर्शिप एंड योर योर प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिटेशन 
coming back to the meaning of the light of life. Two ways to understand all the luminaries that you see in the world, just like all the bulbs and, and luminaries of your house, their source is FPL. All the luminaries that operate in the universe, sun, millions of suns, who is illumining them? The answer is Purusha, Brahman, the Absolute Self. Another way, question is presented, who is the light of light? What is light? Light means you are able to experience the world. How do you experience them? By your senses. The senses are the light, first stage of study. But without the function of your mind, senses will not operate. So mind is the light of your senses. And mind's operations have no meaning unless intellect organizes your thoughts. So intellect is light of light. Even intellect, human intellect, owes its existence on the basis of cosmic intellect, called Hiranyagarbha. And cosmic intellect owes its existence because of Brahman, Purusha. So, and you are essentially that Purusha, the light of life. Tamasa Paramuchyate, beyond darkness, darkness relates to ignorance and its forces. Ignorance extends. Ignorance creates avarana, veiling, and vikshepa, distractions of your mind. Mala, gross impurities. All these come through the forces of darkness. Beyond darkness means all the three must drop away from you. These are called granthis, knots of the heart. Mala, Vikshepa and Avarana. If that has happened, you have gone beyond dark. Asatoma, Sadgamaya. From un unreal, lead us to the real. Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya. From darkness to light. Mityorama Amritam Gamaya. From death to immortality. He is knowledge. Jnana means victory of light over darkness. That which is to be known. First word is used, jnana. Jnana implies revelation of your essential nature. That's jnana. Until the revelation has come, you are gripped by ajnana, ignorance. Same jnana is to be attained, that which is to be known, that's the goal of your life. And when you have attained jnana, then that becomes the goal of your knowledge. So, jnana, jnaya, jnana gamya, these are three synonyms. And all these have to be understood. Soul's essential nature is revealed, is a revelation. You are not creating any difference in the essential nature of your soul. 
you are simply experiencing the revelation of who am I. So, in, in an allegorical way, we say you become knowing Brahman is to become Brahman. Become term is not becoming term. <laughs> knowing Brahman, you realize you are Brahman. You have been always Brahman. And jnana term has been extended in the form of so many divine virtues. How do you know that a person is jnani? Not because he says it, not because of his psychic powers, but by his virtuous qualities. And just to reiterate what you have already heard in the in this chapter. Characteristics of wisdom are described as wisdom, as jnana. And what, what are the characteristics of wisdom? Amanitvam, absence of pride. Adambhitvam, absence of hypocrisy. Shama, not holding any grudge against anyone, but absolute forgiveness. Arjavam, straightforwardness. Acharyo Pasanam, being guided by spiritual teacher. And therefore, worshipping the Guru. Shaucham, Purity of body and mind, styrium, discovering steadiness deep within your heart, atma vinigraha, controlling the mind and senses, all these qualities and there are more. And when these qualities are developing, that means you are coming closer and closer to enlightenment. And in order to develop these qualities, and in order to attain jnana, you must always understand your life must follow integral yoga. Karma, bhakti, jnana, jnana, all must blend. That Brahman, that Purusha, is your essential nature. Allegorically speaking, he abides in the heart of all. Itikshetram tatha jnanam jnayam choktam samasata madbhakta etad vijnaya madbhava yopapadyate Thus have I briefly explained the breathe field, which is Prakriti, which is the field of not self, knowledge, jnana, and that which is to be known, the knower of the field. My devotee having gained insight into these, attains my being. The subtle meaning is, whatever you see, whatever you listen, whatever you touch, they are all nothing but the Absolute Self. Yat Pashyati, Srinoti, Sprishotiva, Sarvam evam Bhagavan Vasudeva iti. Shankaracharya's statement. And that's the climax of wisdom. And as I have already said, when you say wisdom, all the three are implied jnana, jnaya, jnana gamya, jnana. This is the wisdom. 
Jnaya, that was what you have to be to attain. Jnana Gamya, if you have attained it, you are no longer someone holding the purse of Jnana. You are Brahman, you yourself become the absolute reality. Yourself means not the body, mind, intellect, but you as Purusha, Brahman. Karya Karana Kartritve Etuha Prakriti Ruchyate Purusha Sabka Dokhanam Bhoktritve Etu Ruchyate Now to clear up the path of Vivek, how to exercise your intellect to promote discriminative vision of difference between the self and the not self. Not self in you. Let's see first. Let me give you the meaning. Karya kakarana karana karatritve etu prakti ruchyate purusha sukha dhoka nam bhoktritve etu ruchyate In the protection of the body, the senses and their functions. Prakriti is said to be the cause. Purusha is said to be the cause of experiencing pleasure and pain. So when you are studying the physical body, subtle body, causal body, all these three bodies, they are evolved out of Prakriti. And the experiencer of pleasure and pain, the movement to who is the enjoyer, that relates to Purusha. Human personality becomes a blend of self and not self, a confused blend. And Viveka Buddhi means separating, this, a, a discriminative movement that climaxes with wisdom. Aham Brahma. Purusha Prakriti Sohi Bhunte Prakriti Jan Gunan Karanam Guna Sangosya Sadasar Yoni Jan Masu. Purusha abiding in Prakriti enjoys the gunas born of Prakriti. Purusha is your operating as Jiva. And Jiva enjoys your experiences, pleasure and pain led by the gunas of Prakriti. Because of attachment to the gunas, the individual soul attains higher or lower birth. And the soul comes in the predicament of bondage, law of karma, and gets trapped by the cycle of birth and death. And in this cycle of birth and death, you are constantly led to experience pleasure, pain, and so therefore, if you allow the vichar to operate, who is the enjoyer? Who is the thinker? Who is the experiencer? That answer will come, not intellectually, if you are integrating your personality. It is a revelation that who is the absolute self? And that's your essential nature. Think of always, the sun is the absolute sun. All its illuminations operate in the realm of Prakriti. Now, it's a very important verse. Upadrashtanu mantacha bharta bhokta maheshwaraha 
परमात्मे चाप्युक्त तेहेस्मिन पुरुषः परा द सुप्रीम बीइंग अबाइडिंग इन द बॉडी इज सेड टू बी द सीयर उपद्रष्टा ओवर सीयर अनुमंथा अप्रूवर भर्ता सपोर्टर भोक्ता एंजॉयर महेश्वर लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल गॉड्स एंड परमात्मा द सुप्रीम सेल दिस मंत्रा इज वेल अंडरस्टूड इज ए पावरफुल एड for constant inspiration on the spiritual path that god is over seeing whatever sadhana you are doing just like a child goes on doing so many things but very happy to go on doing it knowing that the mother is seeing through the window <laughs> what he go so you are being watched over by god and same attitude must develop towards others you are not watching over them is god watches over and try to promote that gyana yagya that you are all being supported by divine plan and god is protecting you watching over you so even though you don't understand it seems like a big calamity but behind that god's observation and god is supremely compassionate and it will not ever go wrong in a profound way it is always helping your evolution but as this is a general law god is watching over all to in, to be, be benefited by god's watching over you come to the next stage anumantha when a child is aware that the mother is watching now the child wants to do something to tickle mother's bread bread do something to please the mother and when he starts doing with precision with his skill and and the mother giggles from behind the window that's how anumanta she is inspiring the baby good sadhana sadhana being well done brings inspiration to your mind and that big that is possible because god within you is inspires you if you are lacking inspiration you are simply drowned in perspiration i'm joking there's a difference between the two all human effort is completely overwhelmed by perspiration by stress and a sense of i am the doer i am responsible i am carrying the burden but not so when you have understood god's role that if you are doing in a right way if you are practicing integral movement is just like a mu- mu- musician when chords of music are harmonized come into melody it become becomes with the blah 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 inspiration 
and when there is melody is not there then you are shouting creating a stress in you and stress is created in all the audience so is the second aspect anumanta god is inspiring me and once you know that this is this is the way you are receiving inspiration you follow that path more and more learn lesson and if you are learning your lesson profoundly then god is the bhokta who enjoys your success if your ego enjoys then you are going downward ego swells up by your success you are not success at all you simply sucking it <laughs> so who is the enjoyer the experiencer and that's an experiencer of what enjoys the gunas born of prakriti three gunas sattva rajas tamas and this topic will be extended later in in the gita but just to remind you the tamas rajas and sattva all the three are constantly blended in your experience they blend in a healthy way if tamas is operating in a healthy way it gives you profound sleep restful condition tamas allows many positive developments in your personality same way rajas energy vitality brings so many constructive inspirations in your personality and sattva causing serenity calmness and bringing out all different qualities opening up the four gatekeepers shama santosh satsang vichar so these three gunas play their role in a positive way if you are following the path in the right way. otherwise the three gunas play their role in a negative way all the three tamas creates laziness dullness and all negative qualities rajas brings you have only one head rajas makes it ten headed demon rajas creates so much distractions in your mind and most of what human life goes under the grip of negative rajas and sattva creates more problem than you can imagine you went to visit an island in the like puerto rico or any other and when you are seated by the shore you become so happy but the happiness comes because of your sattva but then how we act your mind has now suddenly said i should buy a paper pot tv then i will enjoy always i don't have to travel but then where am i going to get money how can i borrow now we are entering into a to a whole realm of money etc you go through all that stress and ultimately succeed 
in building up a wonderful house. But hardly you have built up. And from the upper story, you watch. You see the whole ocean surging before. What an attack. But soon comes the news. Hurricane is coming. And now you can imagine. All that you are trapped because of few moments of sattva that entered your mind. Cure is, you must promote not few moments of sattva, abundance of sattva. All the three gunas begin to operate in a positive way if you are following the path of integral yoga. And that again is a progressive movement. It doesn't happen quickly, little by little. You can sublimate your Raja Tamas, Raja Sattva. It's just like the story of Kumbhakarana, Ravana, Vibhishana. How they were first complete demoniac. Now gradually Vibhishana separates himself. Sattva separates. But it's still under the control of Ravana and Kumbhakarana. But later, Vibhishana completely joins, led by Hanuman, joins Rama. Once that has happened, Sattvic Guna is, becomes a great shadow of allowing the light overcome darkness, truth overcome falsehood and so forth. So, remember these words, Upadrashta, God is overseeing you. Anubantha, He is inspiring you, guiding you. The moment you have done something good, inspiration comes. So learn lesson, do the same thing. Follow the style of life that you repeat the same experience of inspiration and become more and more an instrument in divine hand. He is the Bharta. He is completely supporting you and it is for his joy that you are pursuing the path. A flute operates not for its own happiness, but the happiness of the person who is playing on the flute. And that person who is playing on the flute is Krishna, Maheshwara, God of Gods, who is the Supreme Self. And that Supreme means Purusha Para. That Purusha is far from your lower self, far from the not self. Your not self is your deha, deha lo. <laughs> not self is your sharir, shiriyate, that which perishes. Deha, deha, that which dahiyate. Physical body, mind, intellect, senses, ego, all these are in the realm of change, in the realm of transience. They all perish. But the Purusha that is beyond all these remains untouched. All the illuminations of the sun, they are constantly changing. They are perishable. The sun is ever untouched, unaffected. So the mantra must buzz in your mind day by day.
and with this I'm going to finish. It's what buzzing is enough. <laughs> Om Ram 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 Om Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Prayer for shower of Karuna Mahara's grace of God over all of you with the blessings of Shakti, Bhakti and Mukti. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukmuva Bandhana Mrityor Mukshyama Mrita Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Nidamaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyam Makashti Dukabhag Bhave Om Shanti 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 Are you home, Tati?